All right, Dave Hall here with Restore Muscle Car out of Lincoln, Nebraska. We're going to do a just a quick little sweep of the shop to kind of bring everybody up to speed uh, during this uh, crazy time we have going on in our economy. We are still actually open, working, but closed down to the uh, public without uh, special access into the facility. Um, I do want to touch base on um, a good friend of ours uh, from the industry, Mike Lavalley, passed away. Uh, he had a, um, a stroke here recently, and some, due to the complications to that, uh, we lost him a little over a week ago. Um, Mike worked with us since 2010, so over a decade that we were doing different projects with him. The very first car that we did with him was a 1980 Trans Am. It was a, it was a pro touring build car that we did for a client of ours out of New York. It's a, it was a one owner car. The client had complete visions on having this car completely modernized, but having Mike involved in the overall aesthetics of the outside of the car. Um, the, the name of the car was called Hell's TA. Um, there's a, lo a lot of really good pictures, videos, and stuff of it online. It turned out really neat. It was a, it was a fun project to, uh, to kind of kick off our relationship with Mike and, and learning his professionalism and obviously his uh, unbelievable talent uh, for his, his drawings and, and artwork and stuff. He invented uh, True Flames and was able to, to draw um, and paint flames that looked realistic on a vehicle if you didn't know that they were. And we have a hood up on the wall here right behind me in the background. That's one of the last pieces that Mike did here at our shop just a few years ago. Um, that was a design that him and I had actually uh, dreamed up um, right before um, he ended up doing it with uh, Chip Foose on the Overhauling Show. Um, we ended up doing this after that show, but it was, a, it was an idea that we had talked about when he was here his very first time doing artwork for us. Uh, he did a banshee for us with a, a flaming bird on the hood. We did a, a, a 2001 Trans Am that had a flaming dragon on the hood. We did a 77 Trans Am for a, a customer in Israel with a flaming dragon on the hood. Um, he also did a custom refrigerator, uh, the Smokey and the Bandit refrigerator that we did with uh, Burt Reynolds and, and ourselves. Basically, it was an idea that we had talked about for years, and he was able to finally uh, work with us on putting that together uh, just, a, just a few years ago. Um, and then he started doing more and more fridges for, for people, doing a crazy custom old school fridge uh, ideas. Um, Mike's going to be missed. Um, he was a good friend. When he was in town, he loved to go turkey hunting. Um, so his priority was hunting and then we would paint. So we would get up early, super early in the morning, we'd go out and do some turkey hunting and then we'd come in, work in the afternoon in the shop and then we'd go hunt at night or on the weekend and stuff, we'd, we'd hunt and he'd maybe finish up a little bit of artwork if there was something still going on. But it was kind of funny when he knew that we were going hunting, how quick he would get through a project and how nice it would still look, but yet he'd rock and roll through it get it done and still have that same Mike LaValle touch um, that, that we all expected. Um, we will miss him dearly. He was a, a big part of the industry, did a lot with, uh, uh, with Chip Foose and the Overhauling Show and a lot of other uh, big companies and shops around the nation. And um, we're going to miss his talent, but it will live on in his artwork. And please, if you have any pictures, videos, anything that you can help post to help uh, remind everybody of, of Mike and keep his legend alive, that would, be, that would be great. There is a fundraiser on the Killer Paint uh, Facebook page to help out with uh, uh, anything for his shop and family and stuff as they continue on without him. Um, thank you. All right, guys, this is a 1968 Firebird convertible. This is a full pro touring car that we did a few years back for a local customer of ours out of Omaha, Nebraska. Um, he's, he's got a couple Firebirds in his stable. This was actually a really nice, all original 350 uh, Firebird convertible that when we brought it in, it was a running, driving car, but we completely stripped this car down. This has got the Roadster Shops 
full IRS uh, chassis underneath it. So front and rear independent suspension. It's actually got a new LSA supercharged motor with uh, Lincoln Felter's uh, performance parts on it. It has a nice engine cover and stuff that goes over the top of it. We have it in here for some maintenance right now, oil change, uh, filters, just checking everything over, some uh, slight adjustments and stuff to it. He hasn't put a ton of miles on it, but he's, he drives it when he gets a chance and stuff too. This car's got uh, Recaro seats in it, heated and cooled seats. Um, it's got uh, heated cup holders. Um, it's air conditioned. It's got basically all the bells and whistles. It's a really neat car. It's mini tubbed um, with the custom uh, Rally 2 billet wheels that we design and build. So if you need some of those, definitely reach out and contact us and we can help put a set of those together for you also. This 73 right next to me here, this is a client's car out of Kansas that we've been working on. Um, we're basically completely redid the drivetrain and the whole underneath of this car. We painted the underside, all new brake lines, fuel lines, powder coated all the, the inner engine compartment uh, parts, uh, replaced anything that needed to be replaced, uh, went through all the gauges, the wiring, just kind of getting everything kind of dialed in. We still got a few more things to do on it. It's, uh, it's got an older repaint on it, but it's still in really, really good shape. So we're actually gonna go through the process of getting it detailed and buffed out. We painted the front nose, which was cracked like they typically are, and the lower valance and chin spoiler and stuff, and then all the spoilers. Um, but really nice car. This is a Terry's car out of Kansas. Um, should have this one done here pretty soon, and we'll keep you posted on it as we get it done. But over here on the lift, we got a couple more. We got this, this 76 Trans Am, we're just, uh, getting really close to getting it finished up. It's car number 1166, a uh, good client of our Paul uh, from, the, from the West Coast. It's his car. We are, um, it's a 455 four-speed car um, that uh, we did a complete restoration on. It's uh, the numbers matching drivetrain and stuff in the car, all completely redone, rebuilt. Uh, we touched on this car once before. Um, we just recently put on some 17-inch uh, 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 one-piece cast wheels that uh, US Mags makes for us. And so I think we got 9-inch uh, um, wheels all the way around, 275, 40 tires, BF Goodrich. Um, the car's turning out really, really sharp. We got, we got uh, some blacked-out trim pieces that we still got to get put on the car and then some custom decals that we'll be putting on there here, hopefully by the end of the week. And then we'll have a final photo shoot and video on this car that we'll uh, show you guys when it's all done as well. Um, but the underside looks super sharp also. This is a 70 Trans Am up here on the lift. This is a customer's car out of Kansas. He is in the military. Uh, this is a car that he had, um, it's, it's painted red. It's got the white stripe down the middle. Um, we put uh, the RideTech's uh, new four-link system in this, so it's, uh, it's basically a bolt-in solution. Um, so we, we pulled everything out from underneath the car. We did clean the whole bottom side and, and uh, painted the bottom side of the car, the original factory red oxide. And then we um, have installed the, the RideTech's rear four-link system in it. The rear axle's getting painted today. It's got all the, the welded on brackets and stuff on it, so it's just gonna get uh, bolted in here and then we'll have it down rolling here, hopefully uh, by the end of today or tomorrow and, and we'll start uh, assembling the front clip and getting the interior and stuff put in. There's a lot of neat new stuff on this car that we'll show you here in the future as we get it down off the lift and Jason gets a few more things finished up. But uh, for, we did a complete refresh on the motor, wiring harness, everything in the engine compartment, uh, firewall was painted, inner fenders, core support, all that stuff's been done. Um, but fuel injected car, 455 uh, built motor. Was this a Butler motor in this car? Yeah, Butler Performance did the motor in this car and stuff for us as well. So we'll, we'll touch base on it here in the future as we get a little bit closer. Hi guys, this 71 Blazer K5 behind me, this is one that we're just kind of finishing up some custom touches to it. We're actually adding uh, white stripes down the side, upper and lower moldings. Typically these only had the lower moldings on these, but we actually take a, a truck molding and customize it to fit and allows us to give a two-tone effect on the paint scheme and stuff on the truck. It's got our 
custom 17 inch steel wheels with uh, cap clips so that you can actually install factory caps um, on this 4x4. And so we'll be uh, touching base on this. It'll be, we repainted the top, uh, doing a few other touch ups and dialing in on this. It's a really, really nice K5, uh, but it's going to look even way better once we get everything kind of wrapped up on it here in this next week. All right, we have a client 77 Camaro in here. I think it's a, basically a two owner car. He's owned this car since high school. Um, so he's had it a, a, a really long time. It was a super solid, rust free, run and driving uh, 350 automatic car. Um, we are in the, pro we've already have kind of freshened up the motor and the drivetrain on the car, redid all the brakes, lines, fuel system. Um, we got to do some light interior work and stuff to it, but we're going to give it a fresh black paint job with the, fa the factory correct Z28 stripes and stuff down the side. Um, the original wheels are all powder coated and done, ready for new tires and trim. Um, but this is a car that you'll be seeing us uh, walk through as we get it, get it done. But it's a very neat car, pretty much was an untouched, all original paint car when it came in. Uh, we'll sh show a couple shots of it up on the, the video and stuff of what she looked like when she rolled in the door. But really neat car, it's a fun car that we're doing for a client. On the, the rack here next to us, this is the, we're, the progress we're making on the, the 71 Challenger. This is uh, the orange Challenger that we bought from Richard Rollins. Um, it was the barn find. He, he found the three Challengers down in Texas. We bought all three of those cars from him, got them all running and driving. This particular car stayed here in Nebraska for a client of ours out of North Platte, and we're doing a frame off rotisserie build on it. The motor's already been rebuilt. It's all done somewhere in that 500 horsepower range. Um, we're putting all new custom suspension and stuff in it. Um, it had some rust repair we had to do, so obviously we got new quarters, deck lid, and uh, I think trunk floors and some other small pieces and stuff like that. But otherwise, the car's coming together really good. All right, the 70 Cuda's behind me. This is the 446 pack car that we're doing for a local customer of ours, Kevin. Um, this has been a fun car to build. We are prepping it now to get it ready for its final paint on the outside of the body. The whole inside, underneath, engine compartment, all that's done. The drivetrain's all in the car, the fuel system brakes, all that stuff's done. Uh, basically getting everything, we just got done jamming it and getting the final primer on the outside. They got to do some uh, final sanding and stuff so we can get the, the external blue paint and stuff wrapped up on it. And, uh, and then finish the other pieces and parts, which we got the shaker hood right here in front of me, the doors, fenders. <coughs> so they'll get all that stuff painted so we can get the car put together and uh, get it assembled here over the next uh, few weeks. So keep an eye on that. All right, this set, we have a red 70 Chevelle SS. This car is a, a very nice built car. There's obviously not a lot to see. It's in the booth here. Um, We'll show some shots of this car. We're just getting the final painted SS stripes on it. So Bob will be finishing the painted stripes on the filler piece, the deck lid, the hood today, and then clearing over the entire body of the car here this afternoon. So there'll be some footage of that that we can feature later. Anyway, um, check this car out when it's done. It's a super nice car for a local customer of ours. Um, and we're excited to get it done here for him just in time for spring. During this time right now, we actually are selling a bunch of our project cars that we've had for years. Um, we, we stay very busy with clients' cars, and a lot of times we uh, take some of our projects that we have in-house, and if they don't become a, car, a customer's car and then we build them, then sometimes we'll build them for ourselves. This 69 Firebird was basically a garage find car that I found probably over 10 years ago out of Omaha. It's had a couple of owners prior to us. It's a 350 automatic car. It runs and drives. It's a super solid car. It needs a couple little lower patches. Um, we're just basically, we're gonna get it all cleaned up here this week, get a few more things done to it, and then we'll have it available for sale on our website, probably even run a, a no reserve auction on it on eBay and, and find a new home for it. We just have um, and if somebody buys it and they want us to build it for them, we're more than happy to do so. Um, but at the same time too, uh, we're just 
cleaning out the shed, so to speak, springtime cleaning, getting a, a rid of a few projects that we've had for years that we just haven't had time to get to. Um, we're extremely busy now and I don't expect it to change. So um, if you're looking for a project, something in particular, please reach out to us. We have several other cars um, or we can help you find the car that you're looking for.